The Umbrellas have always had to deal with so much since the beginning of the show, and the fans know it doesn't get easier. Let's get to see what they'll encounter in the Umbrella Academy Season 4. Klaus teams up with Reginald. There has been a trail in the previous season of how Klaus could easily turn out to be the bad guy by teaming up with their father, Reginald, which the fans have noticed. Though disappointing, the Hargreaves siblings might have no other choice than to have a knockout with their brother if it comes to that in the next season. The siblings who just finished off with the challenge to reset the universe after it was swallowed by the Kugel Blitz in Season 3 were lucky to make it out alive without any damage to their memories. But then these things don't happen without some repercussions, as they came to find out that Allison and Sloane were nowhere to be found, and a greater shock when they discovered they were now powerless. And then the fans later found out how Allison's disappearance led to her reunion with her husband and daughter. This fan theory suggests that Allison stays where she is and that Klaus could turn out to be that threat who teams up with their father against his siblings. As expected, Klaus has been warming up to their father so that he could help him learn how to use his resurrection abilities, and this could finally make their bond strong at the expense of the Umbrellas. The Umbrellas reunite. Every task, every challenge and misunderstanding thrown at the Umbrellas have only done more harm than good as the team is slowly and clearly tearing apart. Well, the full reunion didn't happen in Season 3, but it definitely could in Season 4. It's no secret how strong the Umbrellas are together, and even though the siblings are growing and each one is finding their own different path, the fans still expect them to bond through their numerous personal growths together. How and where this would happen is what the fans can't say for now, and even if the Umbrellas find it cool to be without their powers for a while, the threat of their father is never going away, and they'd only get triggered when they discover that Reginald is the ruler of the world. And they do their best to get back their powers to contend with him. The big question now is, who would bring them back together? From what the fans have seen in Season 3, Diego and Lila are leaving to live a settled life. Luther is busy searching for Sloane, Ben is now in Korea, Alison is back with her family, while Victor, Five and Klaus don't know what's coming for them next. So there are lots of things to get through to have them team up again in Season 4, which is likely going to happen. After all, there's no Umbrella Academy without the Umbrellas. Ben rejoining the Umbrellas. It isn't weird for the fans to discover that out of all the sparrows, only Ben is still present. Could this have anything to do with him being part of the Umbrella Academy from the start? In Season 3, the Umbrellas were able to make their way out of the portal which led them to the Obsidian Park, where they were joined by Ben, but with Sloane, one of the sparrows, missing. If Ben could make it, why couldn't Sloane? Season 4 would definitely shed more light on what happened to Sloane, and if it's almost a fact that the sparrows could no longer be part of the world where the Umbrella Umbrellas belong, then Ben's getaway was probably because he was an umbrella. Season 3 didn't help matters in the post credit scene that shows Ben looking all rich in Korea, and even though some fans believe this could in some ways explain Ben's background, some others think his rich looks have something to do with him being in contact with their father, and might rejoin the Umbrellas just to take them apart and probably take over the Hargreaves empire. Power Search Suddenly it feels strange to imagine the Umbrellas without their powers, and Season 4 would probably be about the Umbrellas searching seriously for ways to get back their powers. In a chat with TV Insider, Steve Blackman had something really interesting to say about what he thinks of Umbrellas losing their power. He believes Reginald may not be the villain of Season 3 after all, as he may be attempting to restore the kids' normal lives. He said, He gave them back what is normalcy. Is that a curse or is that a beautiful thing he gave them? But as Steve continued, he shared how being normal could be a strange thing for the Umbrellas and how they could translate that to their father cruelty in Season 4. And ironically, it's believed by the fans that some of the Umbrellas are open to living a normal life without the trouble and glory of their superheroic world. However, it'll be a nervous watch because Season 4 would show the Umbrellas trying to adjust to normalcy before they'd feel no fulfillment in it and be back again, looking for how to get back into their superhero capes. Steve has hinted how confident the fans should be about the thrilling ways the Umbrellas are going to get their powers back when he said, I think we can be confident in saying they will get back their powers in a very interesting way, but what does it mean to be normal and will that satisfy them in their lives? The Umbrellas Timeline The fixing of the world is a thing with the Umbrellas and it appears they might have to do it again in Season 4 if they're able to get back their powers. The world being run by their father would never sit well with them and even though they were able to get Kugelblitz to stop, they'd still need to fix the world to be able to get their father's control in check. This might not be good for Alison, who's now in her 
her happy place. Fans believe that fixing the world again would cause Alison to lose sight of Ray and Claire, as well as make her bitter about the new world in season four. Aside from Alison, fans believe that each of the umbrellas would have something to give up in exchange for a new timeline in season four, and the question is whether it will all be worth it. Character image issues. Of all the umbrellas, the fans think only Alison has the potential to be taken off further future timelines in season four, as her character was projected in a bad way in season three, to the utmost disgust of the fans. Despite the public knowledge of how Alison is famous for using her power to satisfy her selfish needs, fans are hopeful she'd remain with her husband and daughter instead of running the world with her siblings. Because of the way she forced Luther to share a kiss with her and only had to stop when she saw that he was uncomfortable. To the fans, this character arc is irredeemable, and they think it's an attempt by the writers to overturn Alison into a villain no one would fancy. One of the fans tweeted, God, I know that Alison suffers a lot, but there is no reason to force Luther to want her, especially when he is seeing that he is finally happy. Another fan was happy to point out how her character is being set up to be annoying and acceptable when they said, I don't think people realize that the show has been setting up Alison's villain arc for a while. If you track her development in the show, you'll see that it's all leading up to this. A Reddit fan, however, broke it down on how Alison went from being their favorite to being the least in a post that says, she used to be one of my favorites, but now she's easily my least favorite. Victor and Alison reconciliation. Two of the umbrellas who don't see eye to eye are Victor and Alison. The bad blood between them started way back when Alison tried to control Victor by making him believe he had no power of his own. And things only got worse with Alison while dealing with the trauma of losing Ray and Claire, which forced her to use her powers on Victor against her will. With the background story behind these two siblings, it's believed by fans that their father manipulated many of the things that went wrong between them, and despite it all, they've managed to always come back together as Victor believes Alison understands him the best. So, the fans are expectant and wish these two would find a way to become good friends again, even though they are both grieving and not ready to face each other. Some fans think that the relationship between Alison and Victor is over for good. There are still some hopeful ones who believe Alison's absence towards the season 3 finale could make Victor miss his beloved sister again and let bygones be bygones in season 4. Victor's transformation. With the end of Umbrella Academy 3, fans can now anticipate seeing Victor, who's portrayed by Elliot Page, be more himself as he transitions. And all of these changes will continue to positively affect his character in season 4 and how he makes decisions. According to showrunner Steve, he believes Elliot and Victor can actually find common ground to coexist in season 4, as they've tried to adjust in season 3. Steve mentioned how he reacted when he got the news of Victor's transitions and how he was able to get help to edit them into the story, as he knew next to nothing about being a transgender person, and he went on to explain how this would continue to influence Victor's leadership role, allowing the Umbrellas to be a much more supportive family to one another. These are the likely events that will happen to the Umbrellas in season 4. Which do you think is the most possible? Do you have theories about what could happen to them? Thanks for watching!